start that. Let's set up some joystick movements. Um, let's do it with the simple stuff. So I got a joystick here connected. Um, you can see it's connected by looking at the joystick. I can disconnect it and reconnect it. Um, you can tell it's working because you'll see the axes. Um, so, you know, and this little throttle is axis 3. If people are wondering what that third axis is and the buttons. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to do a recording. Um, so, and I'm actually going to puppet this out to the skull. So, I'm going to control the skull with the joystick. Um, so, what I do is go to servo settings. So, we have a DMX 8 bit because we're using the Medusa DMX board. Great board. Uh, the Intec support. Servo settings. I have these set up already, so I know servo 10. Is the um, is the yaw, the, you know, the pitch, and the roll. My min and max is set, and the button is actually going to control the um, the jaw. So if I hit connect, um, it, you know, make sure your servo limits are set properly to avoid burnout. Servo, so okay, and let me power it up. If I hit the the button, you'll see my jaw moves. Hopefully, right? Not much. I mean, this is obviously demo purposes. If I turn the joystick, you know, you'll see you get that. Go up, go down. If I go to the server, I get the tech. So you can see everything's connected. So what I can do now is now I can record. So this is recording right now, so I can, you know, so I can talk and, you know, do this sort of thing, you know. And then I hit stop. I'll, um, I'll stay connected. And if I hit replay, it should mimic back exactly what I just did. Cool. I can show you the export too. Export. And what you can see is you can actually import settings from the puppet mode. So um, you can do that. The only thing you might want to change is the channels, because this is the channels that um, VSA uses. So, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, you know, I could do, I want channel 1 there, 2, 3. I want this to be my fourth channel. So I pick the file. If I browse to the file, let's use export, save, and we say OK. And it says it exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And then I give you sort of a quick what to do here. To import in the file in the VSA, you know, go to tools import. Um, if you receive an error, make sure that you have VSA's um, settings, the servo setting set up for the skull. So if, you know, since we have DMX 8 bit here, I want to make sure VSA is set up for a DMX servo controller. Alright, so I hit OK, and that's it.